this is so exciting. Happy Valentine's Day. I decided that as Valentine's Day is approaching that I thought I'd make a video for all my single Megs and Murphs out there who want to get themselves French honey because getting French honey is the best way to learn French. And hopefully you're gonna have more luck than me because I found no one, but bref, we move. The flirting and dating language used nowadays in France isn't the same as in like old French romance films. Tu es mon merveilleux petit soleil. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. So I thought I would just like update you on what is being said at the moment and what I've heard since being here. I've split this video into three parts. Number one is what you will say when you do find someone attractive. Two is common ways to ask a guy or a girl out. And three is just a mix of common expressions, words, slang used in the dating scene. Part one. The most common word used to call someone attractive in France is beau. Beau ou belle. If you find a girl pretty, you'll be like, elle est trop belle, elle est vraiment belle, elle est belle. Uh, same with beau. Il est trop beau, il est beau. Brr, da, 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 je le trouve beau. I thought I would just say that because in England, beautiful is quite strong, like calling someone beautiful. Whereas beau, although it means beautiful, it's a lot more commonly used. You might also hear vigé, which is an abbreviation for bogus or belgus, which, for God's sake, like, I'm really sorry, that's really frustrating me. Mm. Okay, so when you meet a fit guy, you can be like, il est bogus, il y a des bogus ici, uh, il y a des belgus ici. <laughs> I haven't heard belgus as much as bogus. Uh, but there you go. And guys also use this to their guy friends to like hype them up. Like if a guy comes in and they've got like a new jacket, you, you'll hear his friends be like, ah, avec sa nouvelle veste, voilà le beau gosse. But if you want to say that someone's cute, you'll be like, you'll use mignon or mignonne. Il est mignon, elle est mignonne. She's cute, he's cute. Chou also means cute. Chou literally means cabbage, but it's used in the context of like, ah, oh, c'est trop chou, it's so cute. Canon means hot. Il est canon, elle est canon, he's hot, she's hot. And then joli, joli is more used for girls because it's like pretty, but you can get a joli guy as well, a pretty boy. Uh, joli is my favorite word in the French language, I think. It's just so beautiful. There's a song where she like repeats joli. You know, like just a song recommendation. <laughs> I love joli. It's, it's just joli comme mot. If someone calls me joli, it's like, belle is nice, but if someone calls me joli, I'm like, <laughs> We've got charmant, you will hear this on the streets of Paris normally. It's kind of got une connotation pejorative. It's just because, like sadly, it's just because it's called out on the streets a lot. Like someone who will pass you be like, ah, oh, tu es charmant. Um, but it does mean like beautiful. So coming from the right person, charmant, charmant can be nice. And then if someone's your type, you'll be like, il est mon genre, elle est mon genre. Or if you want to ask someone what their type is like, c'est quoi ton genre? Next one, how French people ask each other out. I made a TikTok on the use of the briquet. I might put it here. Alors, beaucoup de gens à Paris fument. Et pour te draguer, parfois, des gens, ils viendront te voir pour te demander du feu. Long story short, what I said was le briquet, the lighter, is essential in France in the world of dating and flirting. People will often come up to you to ask for your briquet or you can go up to people to ask for their briquet and that's how you start a conversation. Uh, so someone might come up to you and ask, T'as un briquet? T'as du feu? T'as une club? Une club is a cigarette, une cigarette. Uh, all these are ways of starting conversations and making friends. A common routine for Parisians is their cafe club. Like, coffee, cigarette in the morning. Avant le travail, le dad. A common day in Paris is aller boire un verre ou aller prendre un verre. So if a guy is like, on prend un verre, they're asking you, do you want to go get a drink? On prend un café aussi. Um, on va boire un café, on va boire un verre. And then if you want to ask someone whether they're free, you'll be like, t'es libre ce soir? T'es dispo? Dispo pour disponible? T'es dispo ce soir? Quand est-ce que t'es dispo? And then if you really like someone, you could be like, quand est-ce qu'on se revoit? When are we next seeing each other? If you're ever in a soirée with someone, on a night out, and you really get on with them and you want to go somewhere else, you'd be like, on va ailleurs, or on se casse. On se casse literally means like, let's go, let's get out of here. Now, I thought I'd share a few red flags. If someone says, on va au feeling, 
run, run, <laughs> run. Um, Ali or feeling basically means like, I just want to go with the feeling, like I want to go with the flow, like I'll see um, where it goes, like I'm just testing waters. Basically means they're not serious. It's the same if someone's like, je rien de sérieux, means I don't want anything serious. Um, unless you don't want anything serious, it's fine, but I just feel like it's the type of guys that come with this, the type of girls that come with this. Oh, je veux juste aller au feeling. Along with this is the phrase prendre la tête. If a guy or a girl is like, je veux pas prendre la tête, it means they don't want to like, they don't want to catch feelings, they don't want to, they don't want things to become more complicated, basically. They don't want it to be complicated, they just want to va, they just want to go au feeling, il veut rien de sérieux, il veut pas se prendre la tête. Run. <laughs> no, I'm joking, honest. I don't know, just be, beware. Ah, and then la chasse means the chase. Finally, I'm just gonna like throw in a mixture of different words and slang. So you all probably know the verb aimer. Aimer is to love. But if you want to say like you like someone, which is less strong than love, you would add bien to the end of it. So j'aime bien. Uh, je l'aime bien. Je l'aime bien means I like him. Kiffer is also along the same lines of aimer bien. Kiffer is a slang word that means like. So je le kiffe, je la kiffe. Um, on se kiffe, like c'est la kiffance, the song. I've already mentioned fisho in my slang video, and it's verlan for choper, which means to catch. So if you're like, je l'ai pécho, it means that I got with him. Draguer is the verb to flirt. There is also flirter, but draguer is more used. Un dragueur is a flirt. Un dragueur ou une dragueur aussi. Un charo is a guy who is kind of like an F boy, so a guy who loves talking to girls, he gets all the girls. Un beau parleur aussi is a sweet talker, a smooth talker. Une allumeuse is the female version of Charo, so a girl who's a bit of a tease, who likes playing with guys, is une allumeuse. Next, I'm gonna throw in some verbs. Embrasser means to kiss. It also means to embrace, uh, like hug, but if you say je l'ai embrassé, you insinuate um, that you kissed them. Galiné is the verb to cuddle, so un câlin is a cuddle. Rouler une pelle is French kiss. They don't use the word French kiss here. Un kiss français, non. So rouler une pelle is when you like kiss passionately, I guess. Coucher means to sleep with. And then I thought I would bring up busy because this is a bit of a problematic <laughs> verb, like beware. Un busy means a kiss. And from that comes la bise, which is the that French people do. Ça s'appelle la bise. However, the verb busy is vulgar and it literally means to. So like, be very careful. You could find yourself in a very embarrassing situation if you're like conjugating the verb to bears. So just be careful, very careful with context and where you're using the verb. Un bisou is a kiss as well. Craquer is to like fall in love with something. I would kind of use this more for material items than a person. So like, j'ai vu ce pull et j'ai craqué, il fallait que je l'achète. Uh, sortir avec quelqu'un is to go out with someone. Être accro is to be hooked, to be addicted. You could also say je suis accro aux cigarettes, par exemple, but I think you could probably use it for people as well. Il est accro, he's hooked, he's whipped. Plan cul is the French version of like the American, the US booty call. I will not go into deeper context with that, but you get the idea. Uh, French people also use loads of English words in their like slang. So un crush is used, ghosty is used, un date as well as used. Probably more common to say un date than un rendez-vous. Little story, when I first came to France, I would translate English words straight to French. And I was in a French soirée, I was surrounded by French people, and I was happy and I was excited and I was like, ah, je suis trop excitée. And literally everybody just stopped, turned around and looked at me like, what, what? I just started bursting out laughing. To be excité, être excité in French has like sexual connotations now. So um, it basically means to be horny or turned on, so be very careful. If you're excited about something, I kind of avoid excité and I'll just say, like, be like, ah j'ai hâte, j'ai trop hâte. So yeah, it will save you the embarrassment that I went through. And then finally, if all these work out and you meet 
the one and you're in a group on group is in a couple then you would call your girlfriend ma meuf ma copine or your boyfriend mon mec mon copain and it'll be amazing and your french will improve tenfold and please let me know how you did it because <laughs> no i'm joking i do actually really love being single in france it's amazing um i just like to joke about it because <laughs> Once again, sorry for the noise and I hope they were helpful and uh, please let me know what you think in the comments. Like I love, I literally love hearing back from you guys. Like I love you so much. Have the best end of February. Have the best February and I will see you very soon. Bisous.